For the sixth time since 2014, Rhode Island has enacted gun control legislation. The most recent legislative package signed by Governor Dan McKee today in response to mass shootings in Uvalde, Texas and Buffalo, New York. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie was there as the governor signed three bills into law and the gun rights activists protested. She joins us live outside the state house in Providence with the new reaction. Alex. Well, Mike and Shannon, while there were cheers and smiles inside a packed stateroom today, outside in the rotunda, it was a much different story with those chanting against the new legislation. Today is about taking action and saving lives. With the stroke of his pen, Governor Dan McKee has signed three new gun safety bills into law. A ban on large capacity magazines. Raising the age to purchase from for firearms to the age 21. Prohibit the open carry of any loaded rifle or shotgun. A sea of supporters dressed in red and orange filled the stateroom, as well as lawmakers who worked in both the House and Senate to get the package to Governor McKee's desk. Senator Cynthia Coyne says banning high capacity magazines that contain 10 or more rounds of ammunition is a reasonable limit. It represents meaningful action to make our state safer. It will reduce the risk of Rhode Island experiencing a tragedy like those we've seen in Buffalo, Uvalde, and so many other places. We shouldn't wait for a tragedy like has happened, like has been mentioned, across the country to happen here at home for us to take action. And I am really, really proud that we did not wait, that we got it done this session and did not wait one more year. Brenda Jacob of Rhode Island Revolver and Rifle Association issued a statement earlier saying that the governor signing these bills into law will make law abiding citizens felons within the next 180 days. And some gun uh, rights supporters have also said that if the governor signs this bill into law, they will take these challenges to court, which he now has signed this into law now. Reporting live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. First tonight, an historic moment in Rhode Island. In the last few hours, Rhode Island Governor Dan McKee signed what he calls three common sense gun safety bills into law. Take a listen. All right, enjoy the moment. I tell my kids every day, enjoy the moment. While the signing was going on, gun rights supporters chanted in protest outside with others vowing to take legal action. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie was inside the stateroom when the bills were signed this afternoon. She joins us now live in Providence with the latest. Alex? Well, Mike and Shannon, it wasn't an easy road to get to this point, but with Governor Dan McKee's signatures, lawmakers and supporters of these bills are hoping it will prevent a tragedy from taking place in Rhode Island. The work isn't over, but progress has been made today. With Governor Dan McKee's signature, Rhode Island has enacted three new gun control safety measures that will ban high capacity magazines that contain more than 10 rounds of ammunition, make it illegal to openly carry a loaded rifle or shotgun in public, and raise the age to buy a gun or ammunition from 18 to 21. The stateroom was filled with dozens of lawmakers, including bill sponsors and advocates. This bill to raise the age from 18 to 21 was about as basic as it gets. What you have done in Rhode Island will save so many lives and serve as a best practice across the country. Some Second Amendment supporters don't think that's the case. Their chanting could be heard in the rotunda of the State House just outside this afternoon's bill signing ceremony. Brenda Jacob of Rhode Island's Revolver and Rifle Association says the governor signing these bills into law will make law abiding citizens felons within the next 180 days. She adds the political maneuvering that occurred to get these bills passed and the unprecedented shift away from the committee process should raise alarm bells for all Rhode Islanders. Some gun rights supporters have already pledged to challenge the measures in court if they become law, which they now have. There are other gun safety bills that have not had a vote scheduled at this point, including one that would ban assault style weapons and another that would strengthen safe firearm storage laws. Life in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.